Hi, Eddie Muller here with you on Turner Classic Movies. Tonight we're spotlighting gangsters as we continue our look at the roaring 20s on film. Our next movie tonight is one of the best, 1932's Scarface. Paul Muni stars as a racket boss with more than a passing resemblance to the notorious Al Capone. In fact, Capone was convinced that the movie was based on his life and crimes. After all, it's about a ruthless mob boss, just like Capone, whose nickname was Scarface, just like Capone. Coincidence? Well, Capone didn't think so, so he sent a few of his henchmen to pay a midnight visit to the film's writer, Ben Hecht. Fearing he was about to be taken for a ride, Hecht assured them the film wasn't about Capone, explaining that Al is one of the most famous and fascinating men of our time, if we call the movie Scarface, everybody will want to see it, figuring it's about Al. That's the part of the racket we call showmanship. Well, the henchmen pondered this until one of them finally said, okay, I'll tell Al. Now, who's this fella, Howard Hughes? Well, he's got nothing to do with anything, Heck said. He's just the sucker with the money. Well, Heck's script did not sugarcoat the criminal life. In fact, the movie was so brutal and controversial, the studio was forced to make several changes before theaters would play it. Two different cuts of the film came out, the one you're about to watch and a much tamer version that no longer survives. Producer Howard Hughes and director Howard Hawks not only battled with each other, but with censorship boards, delaying the movie's release for months. The studio was forced to add a prologue condemning gangsters, an alternate ending, even a subtitle tacked onto the film, The Shame of the Nation. Also starring Anne Dvorak, Karen Morley, and featuring George Raft from 1932, Scarface. In 1983, screenwriter Oliver Stone and director Brian De Palma gave audiences their own take on Scarface. In their loose remake, ruthless Chicago bootlegger Tony Camante becomes ruthless Miami drug dealer Tony Montana. Al Pacino went all in playing Montana, delivering a coke-snorting, scenery-chewing performance and spitting out lines that have become cultural catchphrases. The remake kept the unhealthy fixation Tony had for his sister, but the violence was amped up for the modern era, shocking audiences of the early 80s much like the original film shocked audiences of the early 30s. To solidify its connection to the first Scarface, the remake was dedicated to the original screenwriter, Ben Hecht, and its director, Howard Hawks. While ultimately very different, both movies were censored, controversial, influential, and both remain cult classics to this day. Up next, Rod Steiger stars in a 1959 movie, that doesn't try to camouflage that it's about Al Capone. How do we know? As it's called, Al Capone. <laughs> 